Okay, you guys, so for our seasonings, onion powder, garlic powder, adobo seasoning, Creole seasoning, cayenne pepper, total seasonings, Italian, cream cheese. I got the onion, the chive and onion. You can get regular plain or whatever kind of cream cheese you like. Some Monterey Jack cheese. And I thought I had um, a cheddar cheese here. I do not. So I'm debating. You guys will see if I use it or not. But I may or may not try it with the little Velveeta. I love this cheese. So we'll see. Add our chopped garlic to the butter and add our chopped garlic to the butter and olive oil mix. Add our spinach with the garlic and season it with a little salt pepper. I also did a little onion garlic powder for extra I kick. I was gonna try it and added a few cubes of the Velveeta cheese to the cream cheese okay, So mixture. to this mixture, we have the cream cheese, the garlic with the spinach, um, the Monterey cheese. I did season it a little more with a little garlic and a little onion powder. Um, I believe that was it. I added chopped onion, bell peppers, and a few cubes of the Velveeta cheese. So we're gonna give this a good mix, so stuff our chicken, and then put it in that same skillet and just pan sear it until it's brown on both sides. See both sides were well seasoned. Um, this has been browning on this side for about maybe a minute and a half. So I'm going to get ready to flip this it. This. So even though we're cooking chicken, I did add a small amount of this to the skillet while we were pan searing the chicken. So we browned the first time. I flipped it over. You can use toothpicks if you feel like it'll be uh, better to hold. I don't have any spillage or not too much, so that's perfect. I'm thinking I'm going to flip it back on the other side, though, to get it a little more brown. Um, you do it to your liking. We're going to heat up from low to medium high heat, and this is the crust that we were looking for, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, guys, so we're going to add the chicken breast to our bacon dish that I already gave a uh, light spray with the nonstick spray. And also, you can add um, the droppings if you have a little oil left from the skillet. Definitely add that to here because no flavor goes to waste. No flavor left behind, okay? Okay, so I did have a little bit of the cream cheese mixture left over and I had some peppers in the fridge. So I was like, why not do stuffed peppers? So I did some of those. I put a um, very thin piece of butter on top just because I don't know. I just want to make sure it doesn't, you know, it has that flavor. It doesn't dry out or whatever. So now we're going to put this in the oven that was already preheated. I probably should have stated that first at the beginning of this video, but preheat your oven to 350. And this is going to go for about maybe 20 or so minutes. Um, you can check on it in between if it needs to go longer or shorter because this is a pretty thick piece of chicken. But we did sort of pre-cook it when we um, browned it on the skillet. So into the oven we go. All right, you guys, so this is the finishing product. It's okay if some of your mixture spilled out because we just gonna scoop that right on up and put it on the plate. But let me let you guys get a close up of how juicy and delicious this looks. Thank you guys for watching and let me know what you think, if it looks good, if you try the recipe, if it tastes good. Bye.